Bubble Cloud now makes up for the missing screen burning protection in Samsung watches. You might have seen these horror posts about screen burning issues of the new Samsung watches. All our screens suffer permanent, unrepairable screen burning if they show the same information for extended periods of time. To mitigate this, Wear OS watches shift the contents of the always-on watch face to give resting, cooling time to pixels. In this hyperspeed video, you can see an old Huawei watch. The crazy thing is that Samsung omitted this behavior from the Galaxy Watch 4. No wonder we see so many damaged screens less than a year after the release of these models. Bubble Cloud watch faces have always taken screen burning seriously. Ambient low power variants of the watch face use minimal number of pixels, wireframe or mesh icons, outline font options, so we never have large areas of lit pixels, which would cause pixels to always light up and not get their cooldown time even if shifted around. But all this wouldn't help if the OS variant of Samsung doesn't even shift the screen around. Starting with version 10.06, all bubble cloud watch faces will shift around on their own. The shifting you see here was filmed over an hour and sped up to show you the movement with the default 4 pixel radius. Normally, you would not notice the gentle 1 pixel shifts which happen from minute to minute. An added advantage of this in-house solution is that this way you have complete control over the amount of shifting, from zero shift up to 10 pixel radius, which is useful if you have up to 20 pixel thick elements on your watch face. Bubble Cloud has always been the ultimate fix for all the mistakes, omissions and screw ups of the Wear OS system. When Google removed the peak card, Bubble Cloud re-implemented it. When Samsung messed up their heart rate and calendar complications or always on refresh, Bubble Cloud provided the workarounds. Bubble Cloud watch faces are not only the most functional and flexible, but you can expect it to smoothen the bumpy ride we experience with Wear OS. Please support the project by subscribing to this YouTube channel, liking the video, following on Reddit, Instagram or Twitter. And if you like the app, please don't forget to leave a 5 star rating in the Play Store, it means more than you can imagine. And let's keep in touch. These types of features are all inspired by the Wear OS community. I'm always open to improvement ideas.